Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play Demon Heart Hunters. It's finally released, so I get to play it. So let's begin. We only changed the um, settings for music and sound effects because I felt it was too high or low. So let's begin. Let's do a new game. I am a demon heart, both blessed and cursed. Orchid of Feline turned me against my will. And ever since, my life has been a constant struggle. Trying to tell friends from enemies. I've been imprisoned, released, and betrayed. On my journey to true freedom, I've had an ally. But he was a liar so many others. There was another, caged and tormented. A secret I wasn't supposed to discover. I had a choice. To release the trapped one and sacrifice my old ally. Or to simply walk away. You warned me. The child is insane and seeks the death of your kid. In his trance, Weeps for the apocalypse. A demon apocalypse. Was it true? Wow, what an incredible intro. I've seen it before, but I loved it. I'm going to go to Young Red Dance Ball. And I am going to be good and tactful. I think, yeah. And I had a love affair with Sir Brush of Scarswater. I couldn't decide. <laughs> I find myself surrounded with darkness, sitting on the double jointed leg of a huge infernal creature with a wicked grin on his face. For centuries I have been enslaved, rotting behind brick walls and anti-magic seals. You humans have shackled my limbs and pierced my wings with burning blood steel chains. For centuries I endured the agony, this agony. Until at last my willpower broke the chains driven by pain and burned away my own wings, a feat never achieved by any other dark demon spawn. I am a great dark pain, the wingless one, bringer of the apocalypse. Bow before my might, little demon heart. I've had this strange feeling before. The last thing I remember is going to sleep. I, is this real? My presence is as real as your sweat in your body tossing in your bedroll right now. This is both a dream and reality, such is my power. Yet you are only asleep in a peaceful forest. Well, how safe is it truly? You are growing complacent in your freedom, demon lord. How quickly you have grown accustomed to having it all. What do you know? Freedom, demon lord. I'm good with what do you know of me? Since I burned my wings, I have been a prisoner aboard and free to use my demonic powers, but unable to escape my prison. So I used my time to spy on my every demon heart I could find, and I found more than any of your hunters ever did. Hunters? Yes, they are the humans who hunt down demon hearts as yourself, seeking to devour your sweet black heart. You've already faced one, the witch Rivera. That one was pathetic, was so pathetic. Not even a demon heart herself, although she had a heart in her clutches all along. My freedom? You used to be unjustly prisoned much to my, like myself. Oh wait, I did for all those humans. Roma's concept of justice didn't match that of the human judges, demon hearts. But of course, don't you remember? Are you in a day smitten by my glory? Or do your sweet dreams serve it to Christian? You from the pain of your past. If I have gathered well, your heart has been corrupted by the witch of feline who now lies dead. You have had the honor feast on demon heart flesh first hand. 
Unlike those dirty hunters who graze on contaminated human hearts and escape for scraps. You remember now, your heart has transformed into beats with a demonic power like little human. You can survive each of your violent deaths. My deaths? That's right, I have died before. That is, until the hunters find you. They know that the key to your powers is your heart and what they gain by devouring it. There are so many coming after you. Enough! Enough already. But tonight is your night, little female. You have all my attention. It's your time to tell me for tomorrow I visit another. Tell me about your hopes, your aspirations. What are you fighting for, little human? Do you fight to make this world a better place? You seem to know things. Indeed I do. We shall go along beautifully. I can already hear your helpless screams as you beg for mercy. After all, I don't expect all of you human to be vile beasts. Leave that to us. The most born runs the callous hand up a fire. Suddenly, I feel like I've been naked this entire time. But I try to move, but I'm stuck in a place and can't escape to his touch. Some of you and demon have been in the ideas. You know your womb is lifeless, don't you? You know your womb is lifeless, don't you? Because I'm a demon heartless, yet you can still give birth to the brain of the apocalypse. Demon's born listening up his leg and pulls him into his embrace, flicking his snake tongue at me. Does it not treat you all the fame and power of being the, the mother of our ruler? Leave me alone, as you wish. We part ways here, little flower. When next we meet, you will die. <gasps> Bastard. Right. Were you having another nightmare? Probably. Well, it seems we're both up now. It's still night time, so we can't have slept for long, but it might be better to continue on. We're almost in rabbit, and this obviously isn't the ideal place for you to rest. You'll have a better time in my house. You'll see. Hello there, mother. I am back as well. Ah, you feel asleep, don't you? Why waste time if I don't have to? You know, if I, we were to be get attacked, your regeneration would suffer for lack of rest. Regeneration, as if I would let that be done with me. I'm not sure if you're self confident such a good thing. Let's just get moving. Much has happened to set me on this road. Even as I'm perhaps better off not remembering, still dim and made who, me who I am. And on the pages of my journal, there were days of hope and days of utter emptiness, but I carry it with me to remember. After I defeated which evil, which Riveria, her apprentice, Ari, and I travelled, agree to travel together, or settle down if circumstances allowed. Of course, I have another ally, one whose mere appearance would get us all in trouble. He is with me at all times. The child Reyes, who travels with us, covering his wings and his red skin, over a long hooded robe. Reyes was struggling between calling me bright and mother, so we eventually settled the mother. Although I am merely his guardian, we are headed north, seeking refuge in a little city of refuge. There, I should at least be safe from the sovereign lords who would no doubt want me imprisoned or executed because of my heart. But now we need to continue on. When we reach Arya's house, we should finally have some proper rest. Yeah. Yeah. Let's pick up stuff. Anything else? This needs to be attacked. There we go. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, there's a snake. I never thought we'd come such a long way, you and I. True, when we first met, you were a bit hostile. It was out of concern, but yes, I was, and you kept following me. Well, you had to, and you refused to turn back. It's not hard to believe how my life has changed, but I guess things had to happen this way. Many people believe in fate, especially so rabbit. Wise to believe in the prophecy of rabbit. Raze, do you think so? Of course you do. You, you do. You believe in it. Believe what is happening. The apocalypse. The rumors of demons coming to walk our world. Also, the prophecy foretells. No one knows if it will really come true or when. You should read it yourself, mother. We'll come upon it soon. If we are to reach Rabbit, and Zanari is welcome to the church. Harry winces at the name of Zanari. How do you know Ari's real name? Did you not tell me? Is it possible you have been addressing her as Ari this entire time? 
I'm certain of it. Someone must have told me her name. One of my brothers, perhaps? The imposter must have told him lots of things while he tortured him. But why would he have said my name? I'm an insignificant act. And what other demon spawn might have known my name? We are not insignificant. We all have a role to play in this. In a great turn of fate. Also, the imposter rarely referred to anyone by name. No, I'm almost certain it was a great, a great fame who said your name when he spoke to me in my mind during the torment. What fame? But how? How does he even know me? You seem to have a demon spawn. I am. My captor taught me. My captor taught me that some of us have an inbred hatred for each other. But Fane and I do not share this hatred, not even for my captain. But the likes of him are out of out to harm me. Summer, they are misguided. The torment ends, as we have seen. The captain's torment continues, though. It does. You had no other way to free me. I to sacrifice him. But you shouldn't worry about it. In our in our eternal lifespans, he and I might have both become imprisoned and released countless times over. Want to grab these items? Yay! I like this. Yay! Oh no, they attacked me. Attack! And burn! Attack! Wow, it missed. <laughs> They attacked me. It's not fair. There we go. We defeated. Yay. We got some snake stuff. Oh no. <laughs> I never attacked. Yay, the feeder. Right, let me save it. New save. There we go. Let's talk to this. Hold it. All who go to rivers must pay the toll. Out, out toll. <laughs> oh, walking. You think you're smart, red girl. Come to think, you could pay us some something other than gold. Wait, I am Arya of the church of rabbits. The priest will reward you for keeping peace with us. So, rabbit, that's all the more reason not to let you go. Sure, could use some of that. Two girls out here in the woods. <laughs> they are not alone. Was there some wannabe kid protecting him? Well made short work of him. Ray's pulls down his head and spreads his wings and leaves his work. Why not have a blasted demon? Run, Rapal! We can't let them go after what they've seen. Correct. Ray's an arrow attack at once. <gasps> Rude. Alright, let's attack. And burn. Uh, defeated them both. Oh. I'm sorry I had to go through this before even arriving, Rabbit. No, she's sir. Listen to me, Razor. You must not show yourself to the people. Ah, uh, but I thought killing them would result in any serious consequences. I'm sorry about what we had, we did to these men. They were just trying to fight in quite an unethical way. Also, Brad, your armor's fallen apart. It has been ever since your encounter with him. 
my captor. Is he the one who destroyed your mother's father's album? And yes, you told my him. Yet he did accuse me of being the destructive one. He told me before I even knew who I was. I didn't want to remind you of him. I'm so sorry. You know, my problem was you need a new armor, right? I mean, unless we're going to stay home as housewives, which is a possibility. Wait until you see my house is crazy. I like that armor. But you're right, this one's not me defense anymore. Yeah, let's get him. Got some mushrooms. You know. Now that we're here, you'll need to know about the treasure rabbits. They're probably the most important flash in the city. Yes, it's about time to tell more about them. The treasure free abandoned the, the port a long time ago. When the curse of the swine allows made it difficult to travel in and out of rabbit. It was then that the treasure rabbits was founded and in time their numbers grew. They accept new brothers and sisters quite often and provide benefits such as food and shelter, much needed in dark times, that have, have fall, befallen the city. Of course, they share the resources with the non members as well. On top of that, their beliefs are based on a deep respect for the infernal fathers. What more could a witch ask for of a religion? Uh, so they worship demons and so So which gods do they believe in? They believe in four gods instead of it. Mother, Time, Hunter, and the fourth goddess named Svergo, who made peace with the infernal beasts. Anyway, I just wanted you to know a bit of the Banner Church, since you're bound to run into some of the members. As for myself, my membership is more of a side thing these days. I think I understand. The Great Fane has told me of a place in the human world where the infernal fathers are worshipped and desires of flesh fulfilled to all humans who ask, is this your church? Great, this is, this is no topic for a child. Do not consider my child, I love faster than you do. You still have a lot to learn from us. Now speak for any of the race, I have a try. I find it strange that fame will speak to him of these things so soon in his life, but it's true. People can ask members of the church for carnal favors, but it's only one of the the things the church does for the people. It's a rule in the church that every brother and sister should answer such requests, but many of us don't. It's as simple as that. It is a church of love and you don't get punished if you are unable to provide the love. Still, I don't like being out on the street much. I really know of my affiliation with the church and people get the wrong expectations. I've mainly joined them for their love, to see their statues and read the books. We should fit nice in the city where I'll be worshipped. If the members of the church see you, uh, I'm not sure if we should give them the honour. What if they try to take you away from us? We are staying high and raised is the safest way. I would not allow them to hold me for long. The great fiend has made it clear that beyond some calm pleasures, there's really nothing but in this church. Has he? Does he know we worship him? We have a statue called the great fiend's throne. No, oh, he never said so, but he must know. He sees your church as, as no more than a passing amusement. No influence on the fate of this world whatsoever. You learned a lot from fame, too much. You mean to say these beliefs are somehow harmful? I really learned how fame thinks. One day I'll draw my own conclusion, but for now I'll rather learn from others. So when did we pass the gate, we need to turn left and we'll soon reach my house. I hope you like it. Got some treasures. What's this? Yeah. Nothing else. Okay. Go inside. 
It's been so long time that it's a wonder my house hasn't been robbed of while I was gone. Or has it? Where did you? I was wondering. And I was supposed to stay here. Well, we'll have to see how fu how it goes. As far as I'm concerned, you are both welcome my home forever. We can rest here as well as see it tomorrow. Yay. We had a peaceful stay in Ari's house. One night's rest turned into days and days turned into weeks. We still revelled together, but it's, it always felt like there was more to it for me to learn. But one thing I learned was that Ravage was in a bad state as far as cities go, and that due to the surrounding lands being cursed, it was difficult to even reach the city from the north or west. One of the reasons that trade died out. Also, during the entire time, there was no sign of brush, even though it promised to me again. I used the time I had to practice to gain control over my demon class speed. Yay, we learned all that. Also, I've had the opportunity to practice picking locks. Ari had some locked boxes with keys long lost, so she gave me some hairpins and her permission to use them. I've had plenty of time to reflect on my past. There was so much betrayal. I became a demon heart against my will. I was tricked. Ever since it happened, swarms of people had wanted me dead. My transformed heart is both a blessing and a curse. It gave me the power of regeneration that is stronger than death. And talent for speed, but the other humans still my powers by killing me and devouring my heart. And quite a few have been willing to try. There's no telling if a human will gain speed, strength, or something else from their demon heart. Depends on the person, but the more hearts or demon flesh one consumes, the more their power increases. I am considered an outlaw in my hometown, Feline. Although I am not guilty of the crime, I have a sentence for return south would be highly undesirable. I was supposed to be dead. If they see me alive, they will know that I am, and more hunters will come after me. I am not allowed to conduct anyone from my old death. There are only a few who know I am still alive. I did write to my parents after we settled down around. I hope they've kept it secret. Even though I've known a lot of betrayal, I've also met a few hours along the way. Think about my life. I was a young witch who betrayed her own mistress, the evil witch of Ari. To help me, the relationship was abusive to begin with, and Ari is much better off now. Ari is affiliated with the Church of Cult of Ravage. She seems to have a great respect for the infernal farmers, that is, demons. Most of the time, it feels like her respect stems from fear death. Before I travelled to Ari, there was a brash. He was on to seven nights of Scarsville. When the Lord of my hometown became allies with the tyrant of Mace, Mace sent two of his knights to help us fight Mulera. While Sir Jarlin stayed back to abuse our soldiers, Sir Brash was tasked with going on an expedition with me and a couple more warriors. It turned out Brash was a heartless Stephen Hart. His heart still so inferno that, hopefully for him, would never be revealed. This would make Brash a less likely target for the hunters than myself, as they had nothing to gain from him. Brash fell in love with me, but it always prevented him from getting close to me. This was why he tried to make himself hate me, but his tactic didn't work, especially since I fell in love with him too. Eventually we made up, Brush had to return to Lord Mace. He promised to me again at a certain time and place, but it never came. I wonder if somehow held him back, or if he stopped caring about me once all the danger was over. Did the only one me because we couldn't be together? Did he forget me, or did something happen to him? Raised as a demon spawn, half human from his mother's side. His mother was a powerful witch. Ray's looks felt roughly like a 12 year old boy, but he's even younger. Demon spawn grew up very quickly. I was supposed to be there. I was supposed to be there for him from the start, but we were separate. Ray's was captured and tortured, both physically and mentally. One of the first things Ray's ever told me was something about another dance book, Fane. It seems the older dark demon spawn had a way to speak to him while he was held prisoner, like telepathy. I released Ray's from his prison and brought him here to Ari's house. Where we both take care of him. things are starting to look up and his recovery is going well. I slept really well for the past several nights and then it happened. What happened? <laughs> Did you think I would let you sleep tonight? We've had such a nice chat the last time. I am always eager to learn to be with my demon heart females. Which one of you show or take from a bride? Leave me alone, do you know? It can be cured using proper methods, but there are great obstacles between the blood. We are far away, and I have other allies hungry for my gifts. There are also my feelings to consider. Jealousy is a vicious thing. I look at you and find myself feeling so wicked and old. 
You have far too many friends for my liking. Why do you inspire such loyalty? Loyalty. That's us to take them in from interrogation. How many friends do I have? Three. Three is far too many. Even two is more than most of us can boast with. One of them is on their way and still has a wish, so we'll leave that one alone. The witch I can totally keep it. Should be drooling at my lawyers up in the dining room. But the red one. Mm -hmm. Cats are fighting. Red one. That poor child I think you are better than girl's power. Uh, poor child, I think you're a bad infant now. What do you know of raising children? I do this poor children. I'd better take this boy into my own hands and the father figure out all. Leave him alone. It's already been decided. I do enjoy giving those speeches when it's too late for you to change anything. It's time to wake up, little flower. Wake up to your cruel reality. I will not. I will not be taking your life, not today. I'm not gracious giving you this chance. Fight! Oh no. What? Oh no. I should have judged your ward. I'm gonna fight faster. These cats are just fine here. Assassins here in our hideout. Right, are you alright? There was a man in the craft room. Yes, I killed him. Oh, those bodies on the floor. I guess we should both be thankful for the demonic speed. I received a warning in my dream. In warning from Raze? No, actually. Raze has been inducted. Did those men take away? No, not these guys. Fane took him away. Great Fane really is one bring in the apocalypse. So he interfered with Raze again, but the Fane isn't really known as an Irishman. He was in prison in Shamir centuries ago, so I don't know what influence he could have. Also, he, he is a true demon spawn wings and all. But he just, well, he just informed me that he managed to burn his wings while we back, and now he has freed himself. This is an um, interesting tournament. Yeah, another demon spawn. Has come forth and revealed himself to. Why did they find the searcher? I don't mean, understand. I guess the demon spawn and drawn to you for being a demon now. Raze is gone, there's no time to worship. Sorry, it's pretty awful that he took him away. What would fame want to raise? Apparently, he wants to raise him instead of me. So, as he did it out of affection. I know, you'll find it so romantic. Don't find it so romantic. Fane did wake me up in time to defend myself, and he said he wasn't going to kill me today. I also tried to wake you up a scream when I saw the assassin. Look, in my educated opinion, Fane is too powerful to have as an enemy. The best you can do is play his game and hope he'll give you a hint to return race to our side. But the assassins, who are they? They were all dressed the same. This was an organized attack, and nobody was after us, and nobody really. Was Fane involved Did he say anything? He didn't say anything, but he knew they were coming. Princess or not. Maybe he was only watching because us because ways. If he sent the assassins to be a deep mess. He won't be against them, so he wasn't on their side. Maybe it's all a game to him. Anyway, bright my home is no longer the safe haven so on so I don't know how we can hope to agree to avoid the great fame, but these humans we can we need to leave the city. I know I wanted to come here and miss my home and we did have a little break from travelling. Now plans are reached and raised about the human world. I've been spoiled at least until we find a way to recover to that home. And if that doesn't happen, I really hope Fane means well. Uh, he you really think that Fane? Yeah, here's a possibility. There's a possibility, right? We can have uh, I don't know much about what we can really do at this point. Raise out of our race when we are here. No law in if assassins are after us, there are no high power to turn to. We couldn't stay here forever. Good. I'm sorry I, we couldn't make any wrong turn about it. We need to spot possibilities for leaving. It should be common sense that we go to cover yourself where you are an outlaw and believed to be dead. So unless there's going to be a ship leaving soon, north is where we need to go. 
house pretty bad shape. Could you go to the forum in the northeast of town and check if any royal messenger right? Royal Master and Queen. There's a Royal Master asking or her about the state of the road. Are you concerned about my safety? I trust that you'll be careful. You picked up a lot of skills since the first time I met. Alright, so I'm going to save it and stop it here and then I'll do it because. So I'll be back. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.